Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy, Marcel P. Black here checking in. In search of the Black Messiah, Deluxe Edition Deconstructed, once again, it came out of my room music. Executive produced by Fifth Child and myself. Mixed and mastered by Fifth Child. Recorded by Fifth Child South in Jackson, Mississippi. As well as Shin uh, at Saga Studios here in Baton Rouge. I'm not going to waste no time, man. I got a special guest here. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't really have, like, I'm my only child. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't really keep, like, a super duper huge. I have a lot of you know, people who I work with, you know what I'm saying? But I don't really keep like a super duper big circle of friends, you know what I'm saying? And I especially don't fool with a whole bunch of rap niggas, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so uh like like when it comes to like rap friends or whatever you like, like like people who I can text and they hit me back and we have a conversation on the phone. Whenever I come through a city, he pull up, you know what I'm saying? I can always count on him. This is one of those guys, man. Y'all make some motherfucking noise for the motherfucking OG himself. Big sign, big sign. This is big sign, man. What's up, brother? You doing all right today, brother? I'm fantastic. Man, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like, it's 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 really cool, man. As you like, you said on the beginning of a song, and I use it all the time, man. Truly a blessing. It's truly a blessing. blessing. Truly a blessing. So he got places to go. So you know, we ain't gonna waste too much time. Uh, real quick, man. Before I go into my spiel, he's an MC. He's a writer. He's an actor. He's one half of the. Uh, alumni with Big Crit, one half of, uh, yeah. you know what I'm saying, two player, you know what I'm saying, with Red Coat and Ford or whatever. Meridian, Mississippi, you know what yeah. I'm saying, representing, based in Atlanta right now. So, I want to know, do you remember how we met? Uh, look here, man, I'm saying, I showed up sound check. <laughs> you was already there. You know I'm saying, like, we dapped it up. You asked me, was I hungry? And you took me to Canes for the first time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> and then you mm -hmm. drive me to the hotel, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you got to get some canes. You ain't never had no canes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You took me to canes. Yep. And you know it was all G, you know what I'm saying? Straight up. It was all G, man. Like, I remember when I first heard you, of course, um, Return of Forever on Crip was here. And yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I thought you was like my size. <laughs> like, like, bro, like, bro, you, because you came across like, you came across like a, like a Willie D almost, like, like, like your approach is really, really aggressive. So I'm thinking like, I'm about to see a dude, you know what I'm saying, who like married me or whatever. And you know, as you, right. as you six see, stuff. You know what I'm <laughs> as we see on the pictures, you know what I'm saying, I got you by about six inches, and I'll be forgetting. But like, you know, like, you, you, you know, you know, you're a giant. I, I, I am. I, I really am. And I'm a monster. <laughs> and, and, and you, know, you know what's funny is a lot of people, a lot of people see my size and they think I got a voice like yours. <laughs> yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, my, my voice is. Uh, my, 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 it's definitely a blessing. It's truly a blessing to have a voice like mine with the career that I chose. Yes, yes, yes. And like, like you, like I said, like I said, from from the even from like the acting standpoint, bro. Like, I'm mad it's only one season, but I watch the breaks at least once a year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, and you know your your, your scene with uh Tiana Taylor, man. Like, yeah, yeah. like, amazing, bro. Like, like, I'm from a small town too, bro. So when I look at somebody who come from a small town. But people don't really recognize for that type of talent naturally, you know what I'm saying? For the for the field you chose, it's always uh -huh. like super duper cool, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, like you know, big props I'm just happy to do my part. You know, so I'm happy, you know what I'm saying, to be to be thought of. I'm happy to be, you know, saying such I guess you know what I'm saying, you know, not to not to be to overuse a a, a, a phrase. I'm happy to be such a real nigga that yeah. people fuck with me, you know what I'm saying, like, you know. Two years down the road, four years down the road, ten years down the road, fifteen years down the road. You no, know saying like it's always somebody reaching back and saying, you know who will be perfect for this? Uh, you know who? You no, know, saying who will kill this right here? Uh, you know, you no, know, saying like you know, you know who's dependable and somebody we can work with? You no, know, saying and, you know, I stay working. <laughs> so, I, so, I, so I, I got a question. I got a question about the break situation. Talk I know, I know, you know, and, and look, you gotta leave me up with it because I'm a stand if you don't know. Your brother Fonte Lysad called me, right? I'm I'm assuming is he is he the person to kind of ran you in with the break situation? Yeah, one hundred percent. Uh, Fonte Coleman was the uh music the uh, not uh, not the music is the music coordinator for the breaks, and uh he wrote like I want to say a large majority yeah. of the rap songs. You know, what I'm saying like for the giant. You know, what I'm saying you know like you know when you when you trying to portray hip hop. It's it's always it always comes off better when you got rappers doing rap music as opposed mm -hmm. to an actor mm -hmm. doing rap music. You know what I'm saying? It's complete. You know, you've seen it. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, we don't yeah. watch all these movies. It's a yeah. different feel. So you know what I'm saying? Like he reached out to me. 
I did the Ill Jake joint, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it was great, you know what I'm saying? Me, him, Torre were basically Tiana's uh, rap coaches. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we worked, you know what I'm saying? We worked with her, you know what I'm saying? While we were shooting the scene to make sure she was straight, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, you know, I wasn't nothing to worry about with me, you know what I'm saying? Complete professional, you know what I'm saying? You know, came out there, mm. one, two, you know. It ain't like recording a song. I did it in one take, but I still had to do it. 40 more times. <laughs> no, oh, man. Like, man. Right, 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 right. Just way, for the angles and stuff. Right, 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 right. For angles, you know what I'm saying? You know, but it was, you know, it was it was a fantastic experience. And no saying, like, and shout out to my dog Fonte. You no know saying always looking out for me, you know what I'm saying? For real. Bro, the, the, I, I I just seen it. I was I was looking at the Carlita Duran album and it had his middle name. It's like it was like light side. <laughs> I said, bro, this nigga got the most blackest look middle dog. L Y S H O D, bro. Like his look, whole name black as hell. That nigga is that nigga's like like goddamn barbecue on a Sunday, nigga. Black. Like you know what I'm saying? Like family reunion black. Fa a toxic fam black family reunion black, bro. That yeah. is a nigga name, bro. But um, so I got another question too, right? So yeah. um first first and foremost, man, um, I was wondering, has uh Stacey Abrams uh broke bread with you yet? Broke bread, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, everything we do is for, you know what I'm saying? Like, what what, what's, what we got going on as far as, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, trying to get, uh, for me especially, is to see black people represented or to see that people are in, in position to, you know what I'm saying? Like, hear black voices. Right. So, you know, ain't no really, ain't no bread to break out. I'm just, I'm just saying, because I, I say this, bro, because I know she's done a whole lot of work, but I really, yeah. really feel like the reason why Georgia came back in overtime to get Trump up out of here is because you told everybody to turn this motherfucker blue. Hey, you know man, what I'm saying? Hey, you did, hey, 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 bro. Hey, hey, King. Take take your props, King. You did that. Like, like. Hey, bro. It's the, it's the most jamming PSA I've ever heard. Nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's the most jamming PSA I've ever heard in my life. You know so, 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 tell me how, tell me how, um, so for you, for those of you who do not know, and I'm going to show the video here in a second, what have you. Uh, yeah. Big Sight was, I guess, commissioned. I don't know how you got it, but he's going to tell us about it. But he did a song and a video, kind of like the Capitol Bill on Capitol Hill video, but the hip hop, mm -hmm. the, the country like, rattoons version I'm, I'm, called I'm Turn This Motherfucker Blue. You know what I'm saying? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, he did that. And uh, I really, like I said, it was in the fourth quarter and they gave Big Sight the ball. And he's the reason why, you know what I'm saying, uh, he turned Georgia blue, the Georgia torn blue in the, in, in the president's elections. So, how did that come about? Oh man, no saying like Fonte again, no saying Fonte reached out. I figured that. I figured uh, that. No saying uh, the director, one of the directors from the breaks, uh, Seath Man. Uh, so it was really like it was really almost a whole breaks reunion just on this track because mm -hmm. no saying it's a Mac Wild sample. No saying like I was there, Tay was there, Seath was there. No saying so like that's a lot of people that was involved on the breaks doing a record together. But what happened was uh. Fonte, you know saying, like, he's just an extremely busy individual. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he had a lot on his plate, and he asked me, you know saying, like, yo, you know what I'm saying, like, if I got an opportunity, you know what I'm saying, like, would you, you know, you want to try it out? And so I said, yeah, of course, you know what I'm saying? And so, he, you know, he hit me with the idea. He plugged me in with Seath, you know what I'm saying? Me and Seath, I always had a good relationship from when I did the breaks. And, you know what I'm saying, you know, shout out to Cosmo Classics, you know what I'm saying? That's the homeboy that made the uh, producer track. And you know, I I took it very very serious. You know what I'm saying I blocked off uh, eight hours of time. You know what I'm saying in my home, and then I wrote it in 15 minutes, and then I took a two hour nap and I got it recorded <laughs> in 10 minutes. <laughs> and, you know, and, and there it is. You know what I'm saying I sent it back to Tay. You know what I'm saying like we, you know what I'm saying we, you know what I'm saying we, we 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 fixed a few pieces. You know what I'm saying like as far as some notes like this, you know because this is gonna be. I, you know, I gave him a real rap verse. He was like, okay, that's great, but you no know saying we're gonna serve this commercially. So you no know saying you don't have to you don't have to try to impress people lyrically in some of these parts. Some of these parts I got hella rapping, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, you no know saying like what you hear is what I recorded. You know what I'm saying? It's only like probably you know saying two or three words that we trimmed down or smoothed out so that you no know saying like we could get the thoughts across properly. But, yeah, you know bro, and it, 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 it came out dope. It's just like, 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 and I, I know you, right? So I know you, yeah. and so like, I heard it. I heard you rapping, but when I heard the hook, I 
died last week. Because I was like, yo, because I like, yo, I'm like, yo, this is him. Like, this is this is like I'm thinking, okay. Right, right, right. And I'm just like, you know, like, okay, all right, we talk about voting. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. Bet. I get it. He see what he's doing, what he's doing. But when yeah. I heard turn this motherfucker, I'm like, wait, like, oh. So yeah, he, he yeah. he's he's really fully signed. But look, so it's so, so like it's, so it's, it's, a, it's a real it's a real draw. You know what I'm saying? Like right. if, if he didn't get you, if the rap didn't get you, you know what I'm saying? The party gonna get you at the end. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I like it. It's like I said, it's the most jamming it's PSA I ever heard. Ever, ever, <laughs> nigga, ever. And it's it is it's really fucking black too. Like this this is Super like black. This, <laughs> all right. So look, Super so we black. So so let's get into it, man. This is uh Schoolhouse Black presents Turn It Blue, big sign producer. What's the producer name again, man? Cosmo Classics. Cosmo Classics. All right, let's let's get it popping. It sure is a lot of steps to get to the state capitol here in Atlanta. Aren't you the bill to repeal qualified immunity? What's taking so long? Sit down, sit down. Let, uh, let, let, let me talk to you for a spell. I've been on Capitol Hill, they're thinking I want when I will, they don't want the smoke, so pull up and vote, cause this ain't the time to chill, to get a law from a bill, you got the power, they know it, you don't want to fool with your POTUS, then you gotta blow it, not blow it, Georgia power move, that's the attitude, stand up and fill out your senses, if you don't complete it, I get defeated, cause nobody repping your interest, being baller and thinking smaller, I want the Senate on flip mode, don't forget judges, don't forget sheriffs, directly affecting your zip code, let's hit the post and draw, sign up by October 4th, blue to you. We want some more, that's blackness overload Let's make sure they know the time Cause we out you on the grind I'm not talking California I got Georgia on my mind We gon' turn this motherfucker blue 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 We gon' turn this motherfucker blue Turn this motherfucker blue Turn this motherfucker blue Turn this motherfucker blue Now do you understand, son? Yeah, I gotta get my booty to the blows so we can turn this motherfucker blue. <laughs> well, not just yet, little man. But make sure you tell your parents. Final deadline to register is October 5th. You tell them to sign up by October 4th anyway. Register early, vote early. For more information about how to vote in the upcoming election, please visit turnthismsblue.com. <laughs> I love it. Yo, real quick, shout out to Be My Fiasco. You know what I'm saying that's her on the vocals at the end. Shout uh -huh. out to Creative Junk Food on the animation. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a real group effort. Was that was that one of your sons talking? No, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know who that was. You know I, saying? I started, I started, you know what I'm saying, like make my boy do the lines anyway. But you know what I'm saying, like when they when they sent me the, the script, the lines were already fed in. You know what I'm saying, like, you know, just like any other cartoon voiceover, I could hear everybody else. So I I, I just all I had to do was do my part. 100%, man. Congratulations, bro. Like I said, somebody in Georgia, I kept ain't gonna do it, but maybe Stacey Abrams, man, she'd be like, she might she might hit your cash out and tell you thank you. <laughs> you know what I mean? A lot, a lot of Democrats in Georgia, I feel like they owe you one, bro. They owe you one. Hey, man, I'm saying like, you know, hey, if, 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 if ever there was a time to have a, a theme song for for making history, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad I could be a part of it. You absolutely did that, man. All right. So we're gonna get to the, uh, so get to the next situation. All right. So, we, like I said, we met in 2013, mm -hmm. and we went back and forth forever trying to do a record. So, yeah. do you remember, do you remember kind of how this record came about? Do you remember? Uh, we was, I was in a studio with, uh, you know what I'm saying, I was in the studio already, you know what I'm saying, I knew you was on, I knew you was coming. I did another joint, you know what I'm saying, it was like some real, you no know what I'm saying, like, tear the club up, fight shit. I'm saying, you know, I don't even know what that record is. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 why you said that? I was just talking to Joe before you called. Yeah. He was like, he said, I still got that hook. He was like, man, ask him if he's not going to use it. Can I use it? Because he's working on the compilation now. I mean, I'm saying I need to hear it, but you know, saying like uh, I, I was something. Uh, uh, I was hanging out the window saying, "Motherfucker, 
I'm probably too be old to be acting like this in public. It was it was just a hook though, but it was like so it was yeah. like yeah. Yeah, and you know it, it sounds like me. You know what I'm saying? Sound, oh, know, it's you. No, no, it's, it's it's oh, it's definitely it's definitely <laughs> that it's definitely brand, man. No, you know, I'm fine with it. But uh, yeah. you know, I was already there. You pulled up. Um, I write pretty fast. You know what I'm saying like I'm I'm writing a lot faster now. I'm back at max speed. You know what I'm saying? And, um, uh, I I start writing to a portion of the beat that you weren't rapping to. I was rapping to the very beginning of the beat. You know what I'm saying it was just you no know saying it's just what I heard you know what I'm saying before the drums and everything. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, yo, bro, like I know this your track, but can I start it off because of the way this is? Mm -hmm. And it just fit, you know what I'm saying? It fit right in place. It was, you know, saying, you know, it it it's it was on brand, it was on point. You said, look, bro, you no know say we doing you no know saying like we doing you know what I'm saying black guy fresh, black superhero shit. So make sure so I was like, I made sure that I encompassed. I tried to encompass, you know, saying my, you know, saying day to day as a black man, you no know, saying like, you no know, saying like, in there, you no know, saying with the raps, you no know, saying gave a shout out to my old lady, you no know, saying all these old things, you no know, saying like because you know black men without black women, you no know, saying you know most of us be lost. So, you know, I tried to make sure, you no know, saying that I was uh, I was representing who I am in real life, you no know, saying on Black God Fresh. So look, so I, I'm gonna tell you the long story. I'm gonna tell you the long story, right? <laughs> so, right, so, so we had, so like I said, I want to say around 2000, maybe 15, 16, when we had first talked about doing some music together. And I remember, okay. I remember, I sent you, I wanted you to get on the Stan Whistle remix. And I remember, I remember one time you texted me. You was in like uh, Nebraska or something, and you would text me, <laughs> and you was like, and I, so I hit you up about doing it. Then you know. You kind of you kind of was gone. You was busy, so you didn't really get back to me. And one time you sent me a text. I don't know if you remember. It's on my other phone. And you yeah. was like, you was like, black man, I apologize. I got a lot of personal stuff going on. I really want to do the record with you. It's just like, give me some time. Give me some time. I'm gonna yeah. get back with you. Boom. So um I wanna say, uh, so fast forward, so now we're in 2018, and you you would you would you would you had already did the record with my partner Sean Elliott, you know Shout what I'm saying? Sean Elliott. And, and a shout, big shout out to Sean Elliott, you know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, shoot, J Joe produced that beat. Shout out to Joe on the track. And uh, you was coming to be artist, shoot the video. Yeah. And, and so and so I knew you. So they was like, "Yo, you hit me." You was like, "Yo, I'm in town. I'm about to go by the studio. We already shot the video." Cool. So I gave you the concept for the record. If you remember, you laid your shit before I laid my shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but I don't know if you remember this conversation though. So we were sitting down. First of all, me and Sant, we around the same age. We both fathers. We both got great women in our lives. So like, we didn't grow up together, but I feel like every time we kick it, it's like we old cousins, right? It's and, so, and, so, and so we were talking for a long time and they was waiting for us to get in the booth, but we started chopping it up. And you told, this is what you told me. You was like, say, bro, like, man, I ain't gonna lie to you. A lot of stuff going on. I, I kind of fell into a depression. And then you told me you didn't really like the other beat. That I sent you to, but you was like, but 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 you, but you was like, I kind of fell into a depression, and I'm good now. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. if you remember, you remember somebody's mama had made you some red beans and rice. Oh yeah, somebody's mama had made you some red beans and rice. Um, they had a food truck outside that house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the hood, in the hood, right? Nigga, you in was in the hood. I say, bro, you don't even know how down. No. If you go, if you I mean, go I back, in, the, you know, I was in the hood. I was walking around. It was all love. I was protected. No, but this this what no. If you go, no, I'm going to say this. There's some killers in that video with you, bro. You, you was, like, you was, <laughs> look, that's a place I don't go by myself. You you, yeah. you was with the right niggas because there's some people in that video, they would all like, and some. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that in the neighborhood, you just go post up there. But yeah, so like, so you had, so we had a conversation. We had, so I remember how you recorded it. You had yeah. the first, you had the first four lines. We, we had the first four lines already written. And then, mm -hmm. and then you went to the booth and you kind of scattered out your flow. Mm, he was like yeah. da, 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 whatever and then we came back we had a conversation and then you finish up your verse based on the conversation that we had so right. the, to me what makes your verse so dopey is even though we about turn it up and looking good there's still like a whole lot there's a lot of humanity in it right like so I know, man, like yeah it was, it was real time right it was real time so like so like all, all of that was included in the record so for everybody that's watching and listening 
I want you to keep in mind what we just talked about. We talked about red beans and rice. We talked about turning yep. it up, and we talked about literally I, dealing, I dealing with mental health. <laughs> and, and, yeah, yeah. And, and, and dealing with mental health issues, right? So, um, and then what's funny is I didn't. We didn't realize till afterwards your verse is only twelve bars, but it fit perfectly. Right, and like you know, <laughs> right, you know, it worked out. Right. And uh, before I begin, big shout out to Backpack Beats. Um, I wish I could have him here too, but like, like he's a boom bap soul sample producer. And I don't mm. and I don't know how I got this beat, but when I heard it, I said, okay, if he's not feeling the other beat, this is the song I definitely want to get signed on because yeah. I, I I am going to be the first nigga to attempt to make uh a country rap tunes conscious hip hop club record for strippers and uh with social comedy. And that's what the song came out being, y'all. So this is uh Black Guy Fresh featuring my bro Big Sign produced by Backpack Beats. Um I'm going to give you my I'm gonna give the people my commentary when the song is over. Here it goes. All right. Truly a blessing. Yeah. Truly a blessing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Made a lot, but I never changed. Fuck what haters think, ho, it's go time. I can say what I want to say, like don't rhyme and it's gone rhyme. Barely full of red beans and rice, to be honest, I'm better than all right. That creep don't let the pressure out. We jump and fresh and we okay. stepping out. I love it when you call me Big Papa. So don't stop it, baby girl. Off when I top and broke up all proper. Automatic with the game spin. Me and my dogs on the same shit. She used to say how me it ain't shit. Then she met me and I changed it. Praise be to my queen for she who's blessed flow through my household. I pray for sight, now we all right. Yo, we still fight, but I now know that it all come with the territory. Now we gon' write us a better story. Get it, baby, that's a better story. I'm just giving our glory. Nigga, Check. I be black, I fresh, polar logo on my chest. I put to the D creator trying to come up on the check. I be out ya on the AM, acting bad, getting slapped. Die to fly across the country if you call me with the back. I'm a hustler in the half when it comes to getting cash. Down the phone to fly this map to find it, flip it, bring it back. See, I'm trying to build a nation with this paper that I stack. Looking fly, doing it, still talking revolution. See, these kind of straps are fool you. If you ain't been to where I grew up, I'm a iPhone nigga in the boot, learn to maneuver. I be scrap with a tool in the room for the vultures. The industry is shady, you need to be taken over. But right now, I'm trying to go up. Got some Henny, nigga, poke up. I feel the black and excellent. Let's celebrate the glory. Fat nigga getting chose like I'm pimping. The black woman. So I'm tired and while I'm tipping, I'll be black guy fresh When I step up on the scene, dress like an outcast So fresh, so clean, I'll be black guy fresh When I step out on the block, I represent the bottle Trying to take it to the top, I'll be black guy fresh When I'm not yet on my grind, you know that I'm a shine Cause my melon is divine, I'll be black guy fresh And all I kick is real facts I'm dripping on these haters cause I'm beautiful and black I'll be so Black and godly that just walking up the block up It's the enough block. to make a white woman go and call the cops Y'all trying to get a nigga killed just for trying to live I don't be bothering nobody, just be trying to chill But since I'm really with my people, I just in the field I'm exactly what they fear, cause I keep it real It don't stop here, may not teach this to my kids They already know they God, and that she lives within mine there I go again, so don't play social commentary in my flow again I was trying to make a record, make you swing on foes again Make you wanna pop a band when she touch her toes again Fuck it, shit I'ma do it all I'm here first in the struggle, so for self care I'm about I be stunting on these niggas, I be blessed so praise the loud Call me Black Guy Fresh, Southern Conscious Biggie Small I be Black Guy Fresh, when I step up on the scene Dress like an outcast, so fresh, so clean. I be black, God fresh. When I step out on the block, I represent the bottle, trying to take it to the top. I be black, God fresh. When I'm at you on my grind, you know that I'm a shine, cause my melon is divine. I be black, God fresh. And all I kick is real facts. I'm dripping on these haters, cause I'm beautiful and black. Man, I love that record. That shit still goes, that shit goes so tough, bro. Uh, we got to find a way, even though we're in the pandemic, we got to find a way to shoot a video for that somehow. So I'm definitely, because the, the, the branding opportunities with Black Guy Fresh is endless, right? Oh, yeah. So, uh, so like, look, so so this is how I came up with that record. So I got a song called Hustle Westbrook. And at the end of the record, I say, uh, I'm the natural evolution of Big Papa. Uh, after, all the, after all the balling, finally coming to the knowledge 
build it with the gods and the Islamic scholars, right? So I was thinking like, okay, Biggie died when he was 24. Biggie is, the only reason why Biggie ain't my all-time favorite rapper is because he died at 24 and I didn't get enough to hear all his music. But like, Biggie was like my first superhero. He was, him and Shaq was like my T'Challa. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like, like I looked up to them. They both born the same year. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I love them dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, so Shaq is like my guy. Even when he do wrong, he can do no wrong with me. And Biggie, love Biggie to death. As, as a fat black kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so hundred percent, right. You know, and you know, light skin niggas still winning, man. It's early nineties and shit. So like <laughs> Biggie came through and he not only was, not only was the nigga black and shit, the nigga was fat. I was like, oh yes, yeah. this is my guy. I ain't gonna be, look, I'm not gonna be seven foot one like Shaq, but I will be fat. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, so I was like, but I, I always thought about like, okay, how would Biggie age, right? Like, cause as much as I love Biggie, he died at 24. He never got a chance to really mature. He was, I don't think Biggie got one positive record, right? Like, like everything is like, you know, some hood shit, right? Or some balling shit, right? Some street shit. So I was like, okay, even where would he be at limit. now? Like, you said what? I said, even sky's the limit. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Think, you know what I'm saying? Niggas getting cut with box cutters and shit. And you know what I mean? Like everything. All sky's the limit, right? <laughs> but, yeah. um. Blah, blah, why you hit him in his eye? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so I always said, like, okay, where would he be now? So this was 2018, so that means he would have been, uh, shit, uh, 40, he's born in 72, so that means he would have been, uh, 40, 46 at the time, yeah. and, um, I was like, what would he be doing now? And I'm thinking, like, I'm the natural evolution of Big Papa, after all the balling, finally coming to the knowledge, building with the guys and the Islamic scholars, so I'm thinking, like, okay, let me step into this role where, like I'm picking up where he left off, you know what I'm saying? And like right. trying to expand on the legacy of, you know what I'm saying, Christopher Notorious B.I.G. Wallace, you know what I'm saying? So it's like fan um, fiction. Huh? It's like fan fiction. Right, right. hundred percent, hundred percent on here part of uh books, you know what I'm saying? Like, so you know, you you taking a role that you know what I'm saying that that never came into fruition and trying right. to write in that context. I right, hundred percent. And so for me, it did also too, man, like like I think like my, my whole thing, like a lot of quote unquote conscious rappers wouldn't make a song like this, right? Um we try. You know like, it, it always, you know, saying like whenever whenever somebody who's deep into that conscious lane tries to make a party record, even their party records be slow. Like celebrate by common is a soul song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. It's jamming. It's jamming, yeah. but you know, yeah. like but when they when they really try to press the the press the uh the envelope and make party records they come out like universal mind control you know what I'm saying you right. know like you know like calm that's not you bro it, <laughs> it like, like, that's why it the only like, song you can name from that joint is the come close joint with mary right you can name no other song on the album no no you can't you really can't you can't but then like it did like you know to be like like for me bro i don't really fit i take pride in this like I'm conscious and backpack as a motherfucker, but I'm Southern and country as a motherfucker. And then I throw black fists and gang signs in my shit and I'm political. You know what I'm saying? So like for me, I wanted to do a record to where I can be 100% myself because like I literally say, um, fat nigga getting shows like a pimp and the black woman is God, so I'm tired of while I'm tipping. Yeah, I'm right, so 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 in the, same, in the same sentence, you know what I'm saying? I'm showing love to sex workers. And you know what I'm saying, saying that the black woman is God. Like, like I, I, I'm still talking about black nationalism in terms of black ownership, and you know what I'm saying, uh, trying to trying to get money and redistribute the wealth in my community. You know what I'm saying, trying to build a nation with this paper that I stack. Looking fly doing it. Still talking revolution. On the second verse, I start off. I say, uh, I'm talking to the, the current times. I'm so godly that just walking up the block looking to make a white woman go and call the cops. Call the cops, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I get to the, you know, uh, you know, at the end I say, fuck it, I'm no, uh, what I say, fuck it, I'ma do it all. I'm here first in the struggle. So for self-care, I'm a ball. Yeah. But no, you know what I'm saying? Like, so so it's still like I'm still yeah. talking about oh. current events. I'm showing I'm 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 showing props to sex workers and black women, and I'm still in the strip club. You know what I'm saying? I'm still uh, pouring Hennessy. And, and, and you can about yourself. Right. And, and I went polo. You know what I'm saying? Like so. Don't so get and, 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 polo. <laughs> exactly, nigga. That's all I was. You, you catch me slipping. Maybe, maybe if like I'm going to the gym or something. That's the only time you catch me slipping. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like
and I ain't got at least two pieces of polo on because I ain't got a whole lot of polo gym shorts. But any time, nigga, it's at least one piece, if not two. Any given time. Any given any time to catch me. Now, I got, I got a couple. You know, I got my black on brands, but even when I got my black on brands on, the bottoms and the unders are probably, 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 probably something with the, with the horse on it. But like, but like overall, man, like I wanted to make a record for one, like, I, I think like, like I said, like to, for us, like we met, we met as men and we were our full selves. And I think like, I think like, like, so just like I'm talking about strip clubs and whatever, but like, it really deals with like a, a level of like what we deal with as grown ass men, because we, we discuss mental health and depression and overcoming it and self-care and things of that nature, right? We talk about who we are, what we like, you know what I'm saying? We talk about our wives. And so it's something that people are like singing in the, you know, in the car when I perform it, black guy fresh, you know, I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? My melanin, I'm beautiful and black, you know what I'm saying? So this song always goes over really well. Like the last time we was in Atlanta together, we, 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 we did, <laughs> I didn't have the show track to fit you on there. But you right. could jump in acapella, you was able to like get on the hook with me. But like we got Wait, next time, I'm gonna be better about having having it ready for you. I'm with it, you know what I'm saying? Like whatever you want. 100 percent man. So that was Black Guy Fresh. Big shout out to Backpack Beats. Um, it's like we 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 need to when we get off of this, we need to talk about how we shoot a video for it. So um, enough about me. Let's get back into you and what you got going on. So, like I said, we already know about you know what I'm saying, the alumni. But over the last couple of years, man, you've really been about this two-player life. You know what I'm saying? This two-player life. Yeah. Um, I love the project. I love how y'all took it all the way back to the trunk. I love the lyrics, the, the southern country rap tunes, high mm -hmm. level lyricism over the over the, the trunk blasting, the trunk beating stuff. Can you just tell me yeah. a little bit about you and your partner and what y'all got going on? Oh man, no saying Red Coat the Court, man. No saying Coat, no saying Coat is about time. No saying we uh no saying we just uh I wish we was doing music, you know what I'm saying, in 05 when I met him the first time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, what happened is uh, uh, same thing with Coke. You know what I'm saying? It happened with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I was, like, uh, my mother had passed, so I was depressed, and I just, I wasn't able. I wasn't able to do no music. And, um, um, you know, I just, I just wasn't able to do no music, bro. He had sent me parking lot for his project. And, but I just wasn't able, dog. The grief had me bad. So, you know what I'm saying? Once I got straight, I went out, you know what I'm saying? I told him, I said, look, yo, bro, you know what I'm saying? Set it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I probably wasn't 100% right yet, but I was like, bro, set up, set it up, and I'll be there. And so that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? He set it up. I came through. I did the verse. And it was like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, you know what I'm saying? If I'm, if I'm, if I'm getting back right, we need to make this as big as possible. So then... I said, bro, what if we add a, what if we switch the beat up? What if we add something to it? What if we, you know, it, it's a good song, but it can be, this can be ridiculous. Like this could be great, great. So then no saying, you know, we, he left, came back, no saying like next week, we did part two. And then we was just like marveling in all our good work. <laughs> and so no saying, so then we shot the video the week after that. And then in the parking lot of shooting the parking lot video, he played me to beat the fuck it up. So I'm like, shit, you know what I'm saying? We can do this tomorrow. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, what happened was he played me six beats with his six joints, no filler. And that's how the project came out. And so after that, you know what I'm saying? We was like, all right, well, we're going to do this. So now we got Retro South coming out. You know what I'm saying? That's the name of the album, you know what I'm saying, that we're going to put out. And probably January, February, it's all done. You know what I'm saying it's been done. You know what I'm saying like you know, if if I ain't do nothing else in the COVID, I worked. You know what I'm saying like, so that's what's next. You know what I'm saying retro south on the way. You know what I'm saying like, and it's it's just it's it's, it's just as amazing as the two player joint was, if not more. Like you know, like we get to explore different ideas and details of ourselves because now we have a real working relationship as opposed to two homeboys who did six jamming joints right. back to back. You know what I'm saying? So now, you know what I'm saying? Now it's a real partnership and it's like, it's ridiculous. Like now, you know, now he know he can depend on me. I know I can depend on him. You know what I'm saying? Like we, when we on stage, the, the chemistry is there. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's, 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 it's it, we here now, two player. 
I feel if, if I'm being honest, I feel like this is my run the jewels moment. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, you know, that's that's how I really look at this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've never been so energized musically than I am right now. So much so that, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, in, in the pandemic, you know what I'm saying? I ain't did nothing but work. So I got a artist development company with my other homeboy called the Champagne Campaign Collective, where we're, you know what I'm saying, like, doing for artists what I couldn't get anyone to do for me or uh, the support that I, you know, that I thought I deserved or needed or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I didn't get it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, you know I, and, and a lot of that was probably my fault too, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, once I get depressed, you know what I'm saying, I can't work. So you, you know, how, you know, how much, how, how, how long you supposed to wait on somebody that can't or won't work or uh, is not being able to produce. So, you know, saying like, you know, I'll take the blame for my shortcomings, but what I am doing now is, you know, I have four artists and we all write together. We, uh, you know, saying like, I help them with their selections. You know, saying we're just trying to put forth the best product possible. And that's what I'm on. Bro, and it's, 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 a, it's an incredible project. You know, it's funny, like, I didn't realize that Jason Newell had been my Facebook friend for years, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it did. It did. It's like it did. It did. Like once, once two player popped up, I was like, "Oh, I've been, I've been, I been hey, known this dude, bro. I've, yeah. I've been familiar with him." And like, and look, man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna give him his flowers, man. Like, you know this, man. We're about the same age. It's yeah. a lot of times we get anxiety as we get a little older in rap, right? Mm -hmm. I love, I, 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 I love the fact that. We're older men, we have wives, we have kids. And you know, I think, um, I, judging by Jason's goatee in this video, he might be a little older than us, right? But he, he right what he doing, what, what he doing, it ain't monkey at all. It is possible for us well, to grow. It, 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 it is possible for us to grow older in hip hop without, you know what I'm saying? All, all, all the extra, extraness and, you but know what I'm perfect. saying? Without, without, having, without, without having to make music for the kids. Yeah. Like we blessed, like you know, like people ten years older than us didn't get they, you know, what I'm saying whoever they were looking up to, they ain't getting no new verses from them people. And you know, what I'm saying like you hard pressed to get a brand new Rock Kim verse, but I can get a brand new fifty one year old Jay Z verse tomorrow if he feel like it. Mm -hmm. And like you know, you never know. You know, what I'm saying like I'll get a. Uh, uh, you know, Four verses on somebody album, uh, half an album, you no know, saying disguised as a J Electronica album, you no know, saying like the people that rush the five nine, black thought, you no know, saying all these guys that we viewed as top tier lyricists, you no know, saying hell, you no know, saying like all of them, you no know, saying are still active, as opposed to people who grew up idolizing Run DMC and Sugar Hill Gang and things like that. Them dudes stopped, you no know, saying like, you know saying like they they just they didn't they didn't they just they just did their greatest hits. Right. You know what right. Whatever they hot, whatever they joint was, whatever they two, three joints were, that's all they do. You know what I'm saying? They they show up at the festival once a year, they collect their check, they do a hip, a hop, and they leave. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, you know what I'm saying, like we still create, we still hunger, we still have ideas, and we're still hell, we're probably more than capable of expressing ourselves now. I'll tell a motherfucker the other day, I'm way more of a gangster rapper now because I'm definitely going home to my kids. You know right, like, right, right, right. So I'm not playing with you niggas at all. <laughs> I ain't playing with you niggas for real, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I probably, I probably, you know saying, said some old crazy, I'll shoot you shit when I was in my 20s. I wasn't going to be nothing to nobody. Now I get rid of your motherfucking neck. I got to go home. <laughs> 100%, bro, 100%. 100%. So, <laughs> so, um, um, so where can I find, where, where, where can we find you play at online, bro? Oh man, you no know saying just search uh search my name and you know I'm saying it's on all streaming services. You know okay, saying? search player, search big science. So yeah, yeah, got y'all got a band camp, y'all got a website, y'all just out here. We just winning. we out here solo dolo right now, you no know saying, but when it, uh when retro south come out, we're gonna put that. I think we're gonna drop that on band camp exclusively for the first two weeks before we put it on DST. Uh, I still ain't put my re-release on, on, on DSPs yet, man. Ben, I look hey, bro, man. I, bro, I, 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 bro, real talk and I, 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 you know, I, I said this yesterday. Um, 
You know, people, my, my Spotify numbers are abysmal because I put everything in the band camp. But I told him, like, right. like Pim say, if I showed you band camp money, you would think I was lying. Like, bro, like, 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 like no band camp, band camp kept a nigga, you know, of course it didn't, bro, I, I lost close to like 40 grand this year for touring because, because of COVID, I'm right? Like, yeah. And, and so, and so, 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 so band camp ain't really shaped that back, but I, I, I did well. So, um, yeah. So, um, one last question, bro. Talk this is a, 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 as a fan of Big Sign, bro. All right. Like I heard you on Crit was here. You know what I'm saying? But what really made me a sign fan, I can't remember. I can't remember the title of the song, but you was rapping with all the North Carolina niggas. You had the last right. verse, who said niggas from the South can't rap. Yeah. That's what saying, that, yeah. That, that that so my question is my question, and I, I know I know you and Red Code do the country rap tunes, and maybe me and you gotta do it. But what I gotta do. What I what I gotta do to get Santiago Goth right on a damn boom bap shit and talking that country back that I want that country backpack shit. What I gotta do to get that from you? All you gotta do is email me now, man. I'm saying, look, bro, like bro, I'm in max speed. I ain't I'm trying to tell you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm in you know, I'm in max speed, I'm in max strength. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when you after you got them fighting all the light skin rappers, I'm the one at the end, I'm the boss, I got an extra health bar, <laughs> and I got two times critical damage. Right. And, you know, <laughs> like you know. I'm I'm buffed. That's it. Like, 100%, 100%, 100%. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm, I'm, in, a, I'm in a fantastic space. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm writing so much. I, I, I'm writing for other people. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I just can't, I can't keep nothing to myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm writing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm leaving here right now. I'm being in the studio for six hours with five, six different artists just getting these ideas out all night. Great, bro. I'm gonna let you go about your business, man. Once again, this is uh in search of the Black Messiah deconstructed the deluxe edition. Today I have a special guest, Big Sign Man. Follow him at Big Sign on Twitter, at Big Sign on Instagram. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, he's everywhere, man. Two player everywhere. Shout out to Red Coat the poet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we good, man. We good. I'll you take care, man. Oh, 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 my, my, my fault, bro. My fault. My oh, fault. Shit. Oh, oh, shit. My fault. My fault. Wait, wait, wait. I'm slipping. I'm slipping. I'm slipping. I got I to pay my own bills, too. You know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? Oh, yeah. Please pay your bills. So, so, so while we talking about Sant and what he got going on, I definitely need y'all to shop with me, too. I got the hoodies. I got the tees. I got CDs. I got cassettes all promoting in such a Black Messiah Deluxe Edition. Marcia P. Black, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Marcia P. Black got bandcamp.com. So I got to say that too before I cut the thing off. Gotcha. So you know what I'm saying? Um, boom. Um, yeah. Uh, Black Messiah Mondays, every Monday, we talking about stuff from the album and all type of different things dealing with the search of the Black Messiah exclusively at marciapblack.com. I'll have my hobby freedom.